Good morning. I wanted to come today and let you guys see me actually make a green smoothie and talk about how hard it is, um, or no, not even how hard, how easy it is to let the weight creep back up. Um, as you might know, I set another goal for myself to be down to 190 pounds by my birthday, February 17th. Today is February 15th, day after Valentine's Day. I hope everybody had a great Valentine's Day. And it looks like I won't be hitting my goal. And it might be that I have picked up between one and four pounds. And the reason I say one and four because my scale, I don't know if it's old, I'm able to manipulate it. Um, I need to get a really good scale today, first of all. Just something that will give me an accurate weight. And I guess I shouldn't play the guessing game. I started uh, weighing myself. I would do it in the morning, you know, take off all my clothes, do it. It's, it's off by seriously like three pounds, which isn't good. I, and you need something um, really accurate when you're on a weight loss journey, especially when you are trying to lose the pounds or shed the pounds like I'm doing. But I wanted to just say it's so easy to fall back into bad habits. And by bad habits, I mean not eating properly, not eating breakfast, going all day without eating, then coming home and having um, bigger portions, eating late at night, not drinking enough water. It is so easy to fall back into habits like that, even when you've been doing it for four weeks like I've been doing it. Um, but today is a new day. I get new mercies every day and a new chance to start this again. So I am, this morning, February 15th, starting afresh, starting anew. I'm still down a lot of pounds. I'm still, you know, down a lot of pounds that um, are not on my body anymore. I need a lot uh, of concentration to get through the rest of this journey because I still have a long way to go. Again, I'm going to buy a new um, scale today, and I'm going to hesitate to wait. I probably will give you a wait on my birthday if I'm able to do a video and when I say you I mean myself this is basically a personal vlog for me as you can see I don't have that many viewers I'm not expecting that many viewers I'm trying to be totally honest with myself and being able to watch these videos uh, give an assessment make myself accountable so that's what I'm doing perfect example today it is nine o'clock nine oh seven to be exact and I haven't eaten one thing yet. I've sent the children to school. Um, they made sure they had what they had to have for school to be ready and prepared. And I think the thing is, if I always say this, or someone else said this, and I always just keep this in the back of my mind, if I treat my children the way I treat myself, I would be locked up. I don't feed myself. You know, I overindulge. So I think the, the same should apply the way you treat your children or whoever in your house, your spouse, the way you treat other people, treat yourself that way. You fix your daughter breakfast this morning. Why didn't you have breakfast waiting on you? And, you know, um, the survival mode says that the first bite of food you should eat should be for you and it should be something good. But as the mother in me, and you might relate to this if there's any mothers listening to this. The mother in you says, no, I have to feed my child first. Or if she's asking for something. And it's not. this is not a big deal, people, for you to get breakfast. Vivica, I'm not speaking for anybody else. But just like I said, this is a personal video message to myself. To hold myself accountable for the way um, I can just let these pounds creep back up. And even though I've said they're between one and four, I think. And that's a huge gap. But it's still, I'm able to rein it in. It's a new day, and that's what I'm doing today. So I wanted to show you um, what I do to make my smoothies. I don't have a fancy blender. This is a blender I bought probably from Target. Uh, I don't know. I might have paid $29 for it. It's just an oyster. Um... What do I do? Oh, okay. So I just start off with about a cup of water. And this counts as one of the waters that I need to drink. As you all know, I've told you before that I try to get down 100 ounces of water, which I have not been doing. 
lucky to get down 20 ounces in the past couple of days. So I take a cup of water and I'll finish this water sometime today along with the other water I have. And I use frozen berries. Sometimes I use fresh depending on, like I have a lot of fresh berries and berries go bad really quick. So I do about a cup of berries, this is a half cup. And I usually try to make two smoothies for the day. It's a half a cup and this is a cup. So like a cup of berries. And then I do kale. Um, I either do kale, collards, I have never tried turnips, but I just try to do a green vegetable. I've done it in romaine before, but I heard the darker the green, the better for you. So kale is supposed to be loaded with all of these great uh, vitamins. It has a lot of vitamin A, calcium, vitamin C. So I usually get these from Walmart, BJ's, or Sam's Club or sometime my local grocery store. And I just do like a big bunch. I start off with that big bunch and try to get that all smushed up first. And then I might do another big bunch while that's getting going. Make sure that's tight. And, you know, I've heard people who really know how to do this that, you know, the, sometimes the blender heats up the kale and it uh, can, you know, destroy some of the vitamin or the nutrients in it. I'm not that serious. This is a person that used to grab uh, this for breakfast. And these are cookies, okay? So I'm showing you what I do. And it kills me that people always make disclaimers when you're trying to do something healthy or what you think you're doing healthy. But my disclaimer is that I do this for me. I'm not telling you to do this for you. I'm just showing you what I do. And I get that going. And while this is going, I'm going to peel an apple, okay? berries that I got from uh, BJ's. They're Earth Pride's Organic. I've also used Dole's Wadley Nutritious Mixed Fruit, which has pineapple, peaches, mango, and grapes. You can also add a banana if you like it sweeter. For some reason, this go around. I'm not really caring for the banana in the smoothie, so I'm not going to put a banana in this one. This should be good to go. And I decided this is probably enough. I only did the one big uh, bunch of grapes. Let me really actually taste it. I might do another bunch. I'm going to doctor this up a little bit more. in there. And then I should be able to be okay with that. Cola. I like it. I can take anything that's cold enough. And if the taste is not what I really like, I can take anything that's sour enough. So that's enough for one, which is 16 ounces. And here's a little bit more. And I'll probably have that for um, snacks or a lunch. Just put this in the refrigerator. And I'll save this one for later. And I'll take this one with me. I'm, I'm about to head out. I 
I'll need a top for this one. There it is. Okay. Let's see how this tastes. Good. Not bad. The only thing is I'm not hungry. And the reason I'm not hungry, last night I decided to have a cup of Yoplait yogurt and a granola bar. And you probably say, well, what's so bad about that? It really is bad. The granola bar was a Nature Valley granola bar. I had this watching Go With the Wind late, late last night about 11, 12 o'clock, uh, which is 180 calories full of sugar and the yogurt full of sugar um, so I'm gonna make myself drink this but I'm not hungry because I'm not hungry because I ate less than probably six hours ago or whatever the time is ago a habit that I'm so used to doing eating at night watching TV eating at night and even though in the last three weeks I've probably done it maybe three times it's three times too many it's a habit that I just need to break I'm not gonna beat myself up about it but I just need to break these childish, living like a teenager habits, not drinking water. That's just crazy for somebody my age not to drink water. The body is, you know, it's made of water. It consists of water. You're not passing stuff through. You're keeping toxins, junk in you. It just doesn't make any sense. I've got to really stick to this and stay on track. Again, I am so happy of the weight that I've lost. I just want to keep going and keep doing what I should do. It's not as much as about the weight. It's about it's feeling good. And when I eat like that at night, I really don't feel good. I like that light feeling I feel as I'm sleeping and feeling like, wow. And for some reason, when you drink this, seriously, I actually can feel the nutrients in my, like, going, like going through me. I can feel the energy that this is giving me. So... I'm going to really try to stay on track. It doesn't look like I'm going to be hitting my goal for my birthday um, on the 17th, which is in three days. Um, so the sunglasses probably will be going back. And even I, maybe I'll make a disclaimer, disclaimer. I won't wear them until I get to 190. Maybe that's, that's a better goal. But um, And if any of you don't know what I'm talking about, I bought my pair of, uh, pair of nice sunglasses that I really, really wanted as a reward to hit that goal. So, okay, today's uh, I want to accomplish is to buy a scale that's accurate so I can make sure what weight I am or at least just tell me I'm this weight and it'll be this weight not all day but within minutes my scale I seriously can get on it I'll step off of it get back on it step off of it I can probably make it be three pounds under or over what I what I probably am so I really want to get something really accurate and to know this video is being done with love and that you can do it um, I'm doing this talking to it this because I don't really want to hear people's opinion. Oh, of course you can comment. I don't care. But I mean like family members. Everybody becomes a nutritionist. Everybody becomes a videographer telling you how you should do things if you tell them anything that you share about the journey that you're going on. I just really don't want to hear it, honestly. I'm trying to do this for me, and I'm going to try to do it in my way. I don't mind suggestions. But I don't want anybody counting, you know, I just don't want the judgment that you get sometimes when you give people uh, a, a little window into your life. And on here, this is, you know, of course, people, hundreds and thousands of people could see this, which they're not. You can see the views. But it's just something for me to make myself accountable, if that makes any sense to anybody that might be listening other than me. So I'm going to enjoy this movie. I'm going to tell myself that today is a new day. God gives me new mercies. Vivica, give yourself new mercies. You can do this. It's coming up to a weekend. Weekends are hard. Try to stay on point. You'll be celebrating your 48th birthday on Sunday. And if nobody else tells you this, you deserve the best. If nobody else tells you this, you have yourself telling yourself this. And as crazy as that sounds to anybody else who's listening out there, it's going to make sense to me when I get to a point in my life where this weight is not weighing on me, not weighing me down. And you can do basically, you can do anything that you put your mind to it. And I say,